what's up guys welcome back to the vibe i got a doozy for you in here today man okay so these people they keep calling up old kendra g show and ladies just because you got your body done doesn't mean all the other things changed about you so this young lady here trying to figure out with her new body, why the men are not calling her back after they hit. It could be a number of things. But, hmm, let's try to figure that out. So before we jump into it, y'all make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell. And make sure, guys, that for every person that come in, make sure you hit that like button. That moves the algorithms. And that keeps the video moving forward. So if you come in, take a peek, hit the like. That's the support that I need. And we can keep it moving. But let's jump right to the main thing. The nitty gritty. The BBL queen that don't understand why they won't call me back. Let's get it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, just blur. Like your camera's a little blurry. Just wipe the camera. I see y'all like her earlier time. Maybe I got to move the times up on the weekends if I can do the shows. All right. Yeah. Destiny, where you calling me from, baby? Um, I'm calling from East Point, Michigan. East Point, Michigan. How old are you? I'm 27. Is that where you live? Yes, I live in East Point, Michigan. <clears throat> what do you do for a living? I'm an animal groomer. Animal groomer. Do you have any uh, kids? No, I don't have any kids. Have you ever been married? No, I've never been married. I've been engaged before, but never married. Why didn't you get married? Um, he was, it was a bad relationship. He was um, Tunisian and all the stereotypes that come with Tunisian men just so happened to be true about him. I'm not going to say it's true about every one. What were the stereotypes? what they say about Tunisian men? Comments. I have no idea. So what is said about those brothers? Hit in the comments. Those types. Um, how, <laughs> how Muslim men are um, abusive and very forceful and wow. cheating and, you know, probably just did it for, because he had a 10-year visa in America, but maybe he did it for a longer period of time or something. But we got engaged and I broke it off. I was young. I was 19. Okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah, you were young. Uh, yeah. What's your zodiac sign, Destiny? I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius. So we got Destiny. Do you live in East Point, Michigan, correct? Yes, I do. Um, Destiny, East Point, Michigan, 27 Aquarius. Animal groomer, no kids, never married. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Um, I'm looking for an ambitious man. And also, you have to be, like, open-minded. You have to be, like, an intellectual as well. Like, you have to just, like, have common sense about you. I don't like short men. I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I don't. What else new? What do you consider short? <laughs> under under 5'9". Okay, so 5'9 or taller? Yes. No, honestly, 5'11 or taller, because I'm 5'9". Okay, so 5'11 or taller. Okay. 5'11 yeah. or taller. Um, um, well, let's go there. What are your other deal breakers? Uh, before they go, I understand if you're a taller woman, but lead with that. Like, I prefer taller men because I'm tall. That's 5'9 is actually tall for a woman. Anything 9 and up, well, close to 8, but 9 and up is really starting to get tall because if they slim, they look taller. You only put heels on, they really tall. So that's fine. But you women talking about y'all 5'2 and 5'5 five five and y'all need a 6'3 man and all that crap? Come on now. You're just going to be by your little teeny bitty self by yourself forever. Just, this don't make sense. All right. I just, just thought I would say that. Short is a really big one. And uh, I really sorry. don't like. Let's see what she said. I'm sorry. I think she's asking about deal breakers. And also, you have to be like open-minded. You have to be like an intellectual as well. Like you have to just like have common sense about you. I don't like short men. I'm so sorry, but yeah, I don't. What do you consider short? 
under under five nine. Okay, so five nine or taller. Yes. No, honestly, five eleven or taller because I'm five nine. Okay, so five eleven or taller. Okay. Yeah. Five eleven or taller. Um, um, let, let's go there. What are your other deal breakers? Short is a really big one, and I really don't like more than two kids. Have your face I'm, in the camera. You're like your head's kind of cut off. I'm sorry. I'm gonna set this up and then do that. Uh, so I, camera I'm off. Is that better? Do she have yeah, a so sleeve no tattoo sleeve? Kids? Yeah, no more than two kids. Um, I'm really not attracted to, I'm really not attracted, yeah, I don't know. That's, I'm not going to say I'm not attracted to them. Never mind. Okay. I'm what about the, the size 5'11 or taller? Okay, Destiny, if you can see yourself, look at me because you're like going to the middle. I don't want your face cut off. 5'11, um, besides 5'11 or taller, the city look a certain way? Yes, you have to carry yourself. Like, I don't have a preference in you being bald or if you have hair or if you... It's all about how you carry yourself. Like, I don't want to cast a personality or or um, physical feature out. and Because some people look good with it and some people don't. Okay. What about money? So you make a certain amount of money? Um. Yeah, you can't be... I'm sorry, you can't have, like a fast food job or something like that. You do have to have some sort of career going for yourself. I'm like, I have everything myself, so I'm not specifically requiring a man to have certain things because I have all that myself. But you can't like, you have to have like a career path. Now, you can have a career path working in the restaurant industry. Um, those managers, and um, the store managers and regional managers, they they do pretty well. So, and you can actually own one, get into the franchise. But, you know, they always talk about what they have. You should have. You're by yourself. You have this, this, this. So, now, fry cook, well, we know, right? She don't want nobody doing fries. I got that. Working the register, I got that. But they are higher level jobs within the restaurant industry that pays decent. Is animal groomer a career path? Right. Yes, it's, it's very lucrative. And it's a career path for me. I've been doing it the past three years. But before that, I was a bartender. Okay. See, she was a bartender. Now, grooming, you mess someone pet up and your ass... In for it. I, it might be lucrative, but you better have some insurance because those people don't play. You mess their dogs, their cats, those, those nails. Oh, man. Don't let them go home bleeding. You're going to have some problems. So no fast food jobs. Yeah, like, I don't know how to describe it. Not like little jobs like that. Like not a job a 16-year-old could do. Okay. <laughs> okay. No it. job a sixteen year old can do, but there's no money requirement. Just have but a good you job. You doing bartending? Yes. Okay. Now Less sixteen year old don't do can. bartending, but see, this is what she's been waiting on. Ooh, we see that booty. BBL, baby. Oh, oh, wait. Where's the camera? Sorry. There you go. Okay. BBL, Ooh, baby. See you got BBL. body, girl. She ain't got body. She got BBL. Yeah. Huh? Sorry, my dog was talking. Your dog was talking. Okay. Arguing. All right. Um, Destiny, I'm what sorry, was your last I'm, I'm saying a bunch of stupid stuff. What was your last relationship, Destiny? It was a year ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two weeks ago. God. Is that guy an option? Honestly, I don't think so, no. Why not? Check this out. Um, he doesn't call. I like I require, you know, text messages, try to reach me. But he really only answers the phone if I call him. So I haven't seen him in two weeks because I haven't called him and he hasn't called me. How long have you known him for? Um, I met him off a dating gap like two months ago. Did you guys date before you had so basically after you had sex, he never called you again? No, we um 
He text. We just text. Okay, so after you had sex, he's never picked up the this phone to call weird. you again. No, he texts me. Okay, texting. I'm saying calling. So let me be clear with my. Has he I'm called sorry. you since you slept with him two weeks ago? No. Nope. Did he? Was he calling you before you slept with him? Uh, no. Nope. Oh wow. Did y'all goodness. date before y'all had sex? Yeah, we went on three dates, and then the third, because I usually try to, like, wait until the third date to have sex. So the third date, we had sex, and then a few other times, we slept together as well. But like I said, the, it only happens if I call him. So that's why I'm 100% sure he's not an so option. So you are BBL booty call. Okay, so is this something that you'll take as a, a lesson moving forward with, with other men? Yes, I am. Like, honestly, like, I do need to work on my self-love. Like, I know I shouldn't be giving myself to a man that doesn't call or text me or anything like that. But I, you know, I get lonely every now and again. And he is good looking. Well, this is the reason of the problem, child. Okay, so it's easy to figure this out. All right, so she went ahead of full. You could tell she got the breasts and the butt done. So before this, she probably didn't have much of all that. So she wasn't getting attention. Definitely wasn't getting attention from good-looking dudes. Now she's gotten her little breast done, got her BBL booty done. She's getting some attention. Now those good-looking guys that you've been hoping for, you finally getting their attention, but they're only getting it, you're, I mean, getting their attention for one thing. And now you just become another notch on their belt. That's it. These guys don't want to keep coming back to you. And something else got to be wrong because you giving it up and these guys ain't trying to get it again. They ain't in no rush to try to get back with you. Like, what's going on with you? Maybe you, maybe you trash. Did you ever think of that? Like, maybe you're not so good as you think you are because women much as y'all like to think that every time y'all lay down that y'all putting it down some of you're not some of you are terrible all right you're just terrible you just lay there you're not i don't know some of y'all just not it's just like a man could be sloppy y'all just not but y'all think just because y'all give it to him that that y'all good at it and some of you just not she may not be. So it ain't worth them. He's like, yeah, maybe hit it up late night, coming home from the club, I swing by. That's probably what she's getting from this dude. But let's just keep watching. Now, she said they have been kicking it about two months, and she already gave it to him several times. All right? So, gotta pay attention to that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get to a certain point. We're going to talk about it. Let me say this. Um, I appreciate your transparency. You definitely have a thick body, right? So you will attract men that probably will just want to have sex with you and, no, and nothing more. It it's going to be for you to decide between the two. And it's going to be based off what you want. Just because a guy, like you just said, he's good looking. And these are the kind of the complaints that a lot of men know this, first of all. Men know that if a man looks good or has money, he doesn't have to do all the requirements that yeah. other men have to do in order to get your attention. So these men now, because they got friends, if, if they're not the guy, they they a friend of the guy. And they watch how easy it is for him to get vagina. And it's like, I got to do all this. But nevertheless, not to go off tangent, you're 27. You're still learning. Um, so there's going to be a grace. But what I will say to you is, you know, decide what you want. And if you honestly, I say this all the time, and y'all really get mad when I say it. But if you honestly know you want a relationship, maybe require that before you have sex. Because yeah. then you'll get to know your pool of men, right? The pool of men who you can just have. And if you want to have, but if you want to have fun times, then have fun times, right? Like, you know, it's your life. But you're going to have to use better discernment and time, more time to decipher off of the man. And if he's just good looking, girl, you have to be strong. Don't just give him a pass because yeah. he's good looking. See. Yeah, I do. I do. Like I, I haven't. Like I said, I haven't been in a relationship in a year. So I, I got on the dating apps and I. Yeah, but you're giving I've it up. A couple people. None of none of it has worked out because it's like it's unfortunate because I am looking to date to marry. I am that type of woman, but 
it doesn't work out like that. So I just like well because sex is so easy. Like I think right. First of all, I have a lot of sympathy for my ladies because this, you know, we're dealing in a time right now, child, where the type of man that first of all y'all all kind of want the same guy, right? So there's too many of y'all that want the same guy, but because this guy is so desired. He literally has no reason to rise to the occasion. True. Like he literally has no reason unless he's like morally comes from a different background, maybe wants to get married because he wants children or whatever the case may be. But um you just said you slept with this guy who barely was sexy, but then you dropped, but he was good looking. So that was, and if he's good looking, he getting vagina all the time. So that's it. She she getting attention. She's getting attention now from, like you say, the good looking dude. And now you running behind like a puppy dog. He don't have to call you. He barely, he won't even text you. And he still get to come through and hit. Why would he want to have a relationship with you? You chase him down. He know when you text him, he know what time it is. It's time to go over and handle that. He know this now. The man don't call or text, and you set it up for just texting like a dummy. So now he don't have to interact with you. So you think you running something, but you played yourself out. That's basically what she did. She played herself out. So y'all ladies be coming up with all these rules and all this stuff and think, the man is going to sit back and wait while y'all sit here and put two and three months. Oh, I ain't doing enough for two months or three months. You may not be doing anything. But he's going to be doing something. He's not sitting around for two and three months just to have sex. That's dumb. He's a single man. Why would he sit around just because that's your thing? That ain't my thing. Shit, I'm okay. When you come around, I'll be there. But until then, I'm going to do this too. And you save yourself until you're ready. And then we'll link up. That's what's going to happen here. But shit, she's giving it up freely because she's still getting used to her new body, her new look. You know, she probably got a million pictures on her Instagram story and all this. Probably half naked, showing everything. And y'all keep thinking that's what it's supposed to be. Sexualizing yourself 100, what? 350 out of 365. That's all the days that y'all out here shaking and baking. And then you wondering why these guys just want to hit it. Because like she said, too many of y'all want the same dudes. And all of y'all out here doing the same stuff. So there's no separation. You damn near can tell who the good ones and who's not. Because the good ones starting to look and act like the bad ones. I'm sympathetic, but you're going to have to learn sexual discipline. Because unfortunately, ladies, men can have sex and it's not judgment against them. Um, well, some women do. Some women do. I would judge a guy if he just out sleeping with everybody, child. But a lot of times Shit, a guy can care. have five kids and be fine and still get a, a, a woman. But if a woman has five kids, it's going to be harder for her to get the kind of type of guy that she wants. So you just have to be more particular with who you allow into your body and don't just make it and how about this don't just make it based off of good looks make it based off of character i'm not telling you to be with an ugly man but maybe be with a man that you know one of my friends and she's married and this is a quote that i never forgot and she always says the finest man is the man that treats me the best not the man that is the finest because he's a model no, the man that treats me the best was always the finest man to me. And that's the man that is calling me, pursuing me, showing interest in me. So, again, you got a body, girl. You know, we saw it when you stood up. So, so does, it's going to take for you to use your discernment to decipher between the two. Yeah, I do need to get stronger at that. Like, I, I do try. Like, I, I weigh. I, like, I talk to them for, like, a month before I even meet. And I, I give, like, I don't just go to people's houses. I have them take me out. Like if they don't even want to commit to a drink or a dinner, then I don't even take them seriously. And they try really hard for those few months or those few dates and then it just stops. And 
I have a problem with letting that go when it stops, but yeah. Does it stop after they have sex with you? It stops like yeah, like yeah, around the girl because that's garbage. the plan. Girl, I'm trying to educate. Like, well, well, like, that's the plan. They're like he's pursuing you because he's like he's trying to have sex with you. So I want you to use your own experience to learn these lessons. I can't believe this. Why is it these guys are pursuing you, but as soon as they have sex with you, they don't work as hard because they achieve their goal. And see, and this, like I say again. You young girls need to talk to these older women. Young boys, talk to the older men. And I always say, you know, I advocate for men, older men, to speak to the young ones. Talk to them. Tell them. Talk to your sons. Get, get down and dirty and tell them stuff. Ladies, you got to start talking to your girls. Stop telling them to finesse some dude. Y'all got your daughters, 12 and 13, out here looking like they 19 and 20. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Y'all got 14-year-old girls getting tattoos and rings everywhere. What, what's going on? Now, this girl's all confused. She's only 27. And she's blinded that a guy will just hit it and keep moving. She's like, she's just dumbfounded because he's cute. Well, he's really good looking. So... That like a dude dating a pretty girl. You ever notice how he just can't let her go because she's so pretty and she just dog him out? Will not let her go because she's pretty because he ain't never had a pretty girl before. She don't want him. She just want what he has. Take all this money, make him babysit her kids, talk to him like trash, leave him at home, and he just sit there for her to come back. That's this. He come and hit you ain't seen for two or three weeks. You have to text him, and then he come back through. And you sitting around waiting with all these dudes out here, all these good dudes out here, these average, a little bit above average. You sitting at home waiting on a dude that's not even pursuing you because he cute, good looking. That's what y'all will do. And just let all the good ones pass you up. Like, ladies, all men are always trying to figure out is how much how much do it cost to get in between your legs? How there much time is. do I got to spend? How That's much their number money, one much, objective when they women, meet you. Y'all, you no control lie. that. Now, you can decide unless a man takes it. We're not going to talk about that. So, once he realizes, yeah, he's working. He's he's trying to figure out. Okay, and then once he gets it, he got what he wanted. So, yeah, he's not going to call you as much, honey. I mean, but like, how do you know that until after you sleep? make it a requirement? Make it like I only have sex when I'm in relationships. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you just said you want to be a wife. I do, right? <laughs> but I don't want to be a wife to bad dick. Like, what if? How do you even know? Like, I don't want to marry somebody if the. Now she said she wanted a man with intellect. Kendra said a committed relationship. She's talking about marriage. No, she did not say cut things off until you get married. She said until you're in a committed relationship. You see what I'm saying? She doesn't understand what a relationship is. She should have asked her how many relationships has she been in before she had the BBL and after. That's what they need to start asking. When these women come out and have all this work done, what was your life like before you had this done? Because you acting real brand new now. You know, clothing, your attitude, your sexual behavior. I mean, now you're looking real greasy out here. With 40, 45 years old, thinking you're still 20, 25. Got to do better, ladies. Got to do better. And I know some of you are like, what about men? I don't give a crap about no men. Y'all figure that out. Y'all talk. Y'all bring up something to talk about them. Sex is whack. Sex is a big part of the relationship as well. It's not the biggest part, but it is a part. And it's like, I do wait a time period. I do put limitations on it. Yeah, like I said, right. They do have to take me out. They do have to treat me a certain way. And it does have to be for a period of time. But What's the period of time, honey? A period of time is at least two months. So if a guy takes you out for two months, um, so you don't have sex until two months, or do you have sex faster than, I thought it was three dates. 
Three three days can be like in the time frame of two months. Like it's not. But like, what if three days happens in a week? I don't have that type of time. I'm busy at work. Now, flashback. Remember when I said earlier? Remember when she said she and this dude, this good looking dude, been kicking it for two months. Now, he ain't called her in the last two weeks, but he's been hitting it ever since. So. That's debunked already. So within two months, he has already done ran through you several times. Because, shit, just a week, month and a half ago was the last time he talked to you. I'm sorry, two weeks ago was the last time he talked to you. So a month and a half, you've been getting it in with this dude. So when did you give it up to him? The first, second week, the second date? What? What's the deal? You see what I'm saying? So she's not telling the truth, for one. You think you got a plan, but like most, it depends on how well the person looked. Now, if you thought he looked extremely handsome, you gave it up early. If you didn't think so, you made him wait. Let's be for real. This dude here, he probably hit it off first week. Might have get it the first night because you already talking to him on the app, so he knew what time it was. So you're saying a guy has to take you on three dates and that's normally a two month process. Around that time, like it could be a month and a half or two months. I was rounding up, I suppose. Okay. Kendra knows she fully. Okay, that I can't you. Do that. I can't even go on three dates a week. I work too much. I can go on like a date like one. Well, I think that's what I you can go on three dates in a guy. month. Y'all got I, I'm not gonna stress myself out trying to give y'all this little she knows thing, exactly what Kendra talking video about. Of advice. And and I'm just telling y'all from the men, I, a lot of times this be from the men. And this is the thing that you also gotta okay, think about this. When a man marries a woman, nine times out of ten, it's like he feels like he got something valuable that he doesn't want somebody else to have. And he's found something Correct. different you know, that he hasn't seen before. So it's like this woman is ex an expense, like she's expendable to me not inexpendable to me if i'm using the right word so he's trying to lock her in but what a lot of women are not realizing is y'all all act the same so yeah, that's why is. these men don't be locking y'all in because y'all all be acting the same God, dog, i mean you are it. an attractive girl but you're not the only attractive girl walking this world and if a man knows he Thank can you. take you out a couple times and if and if he's jazzy I'm, I'm assuming he has to be attractive so he's probably hit on all the time I'm so proud of Kendra now. Just a couple years back, she had no idea. But after three years, almost four years of listening to women, and she started listening to men, and I'll keep telling y'all, talk to some men. Ladies, if you ever want to get ahead of the game, sit down and talk to some real men that got this shit together. They'll tell you everything you need to know. Not no idiots. Some real men that got their stuff together. That's going to give you some good advice. They'll tell you everything you need to know to find you a good dude. Y'all don't want to hear it because y'all don't want to compromise and y'all don't want to change. Stay in the streets. And if you got a coin, it ain't nothing to take you out on a date. You're not different than the other girl he knows wants him to. So why would I choose you over all the other beautiful girls that want to give me their vagina too? Yeah. Yeah, I could I could try that. It's just in this generation, it just sounds. I can try, like I can, I try. can try waiting until the I can try. I can try. Being a better Girl, do, person. Okay, listen, I'm not sure where we at with these questions. What are your three flaws? Like I said, I am aware I can be very emotional sometimes. Like I do catch feelings at um well, when I I don't catch feelings fast, but when I catch them, they can be deep. And they can be serious. Like I am aware that I need to work on my self love. I do need to love myself. Okay, so she's a needy chick. That's why they don't call back. So we need to ask, like, so damn, how many texts do you send afterward? Do you just keep message, 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 message until they're like, oh lord, she's crazy. So she might be the crazy chick. They do come cute. <laughs> 